Working with Romark is really easy, and I'll give you a few tips for the trade. The Romark comes with this protective coating on it, and that's just to keep any scratches from occurring during the shipping process. But this coating, and any plastic you receive, will have a coating like this. It's not engravable and cannot be used as a mask. Very important because it contains PVC in it, so it will outgas hazardous fumes. It's just easy to peel right off. Next, we will add a paper mask. This one is uh, 12 inches in width, which is perfect because that's the same as my piece of plastic here. So I just take off the masking. And I just lay it right on to the row mark and smooth it out. And now it's ready to go into my laser bed for engraving. why we have to mask engraving plastic such as Romark. And as you can see, there's a lot of flare up from the secondary color. The blue is the bottom color and the white is the top. And all that blue flare up that you see on the masking would end up on your finished product, which is what you don't want. So the first pass of this job is just the vector cutting that has the masking on it. Then I will remove the mask and I will do the second part of the job, which will be the raster engraving. So after the masking has been removed, then I will do the raster engraving job, as you can see. And to see some samples, this was one that was not masked, so you can see all the, um, the clara and the blue coloring that uh, got on the card that, of course, you don't want. And then here is a sample that had the masking on it, and then was raster engraved. You can see how bright white it is. Carrot. So masking really is an important step in the process of using uh, engraving plastic such as Romark.